Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to more Persona 4. Adachi just gave us a call and said that Nanako's condition has suddenly gotten worse. So, like Yosuke said, let's go. Oh, man. I don't like the sound of that. That does not sound good at all. Inaba Municipal Hospital, Nanako's room. Dojima is listening to an explanation from the doctor. There have been loud voices throughout the hospital for some time now. Doctor, this fog is poisonous, isn't it? Isn't it filled with viruses? They said so on TV. Isn't there a vaccine or something for it? Calm down, please. That's just a rumor. Don't tell me to calm down. You're lying. We know you have medicine for this. Are you just going to stand there and watch us die? Why would we do something like that? What a commotion. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Can't you see how much pain she's in? All we can do right now is monitor her condition closely. <laughs> Dojima-san, you need to return to your... I don't give a damn about myself. Do something about Nanako. <sighs> Dojima-san! Just save her. For God's sake, please save Nanako. Yes, please. Please. We'll do our best. I must ask you to step outside for the time being. All of us? I'm family. Come on, man. Nanako. A nurse accompanied Dojima back to his room. Hey, can't you do something? This all has to do with the world you came from. Can't you figure something out? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, but... Damn it! What does this have to happen to a little girl like her? I can't forgive this. Calm down. We all feel the same way. Uh... I don't know. God damn. They all sound like right. Like, I can't forgive it. No, we all feel the same way. Everybody's kind of like, you know, up in like very high emotions right now. I think they need to all calm down. How am I supposed to stay calm at a time like this? My bad. I guess I chose the wrong answer. Can't believe this is happening. Nanako-chan's gonna be okay, right? I hope so. What the fuck is going on here? You guys still here? How is Dojima-san doing? His wounds opened up again. They're treating it over in his room now. Any luck with your investigation on Namatame? Um, about that. I won't mince words here. We're gonna have a hard time making these charges stick. What's that mean? I talked with the guys at the station, and it'll be next to impossible to find him guilty in court. Especially given the reason why we took him off our list of suspects for the first case. Oh yeah, something about him having an alibi. Well, what's his alibi? Yeah, that. And the whole angle about him putting people into TVs. There's no way that'll stand up in court. What's his alibi? I mean, not that I think that he's the killer, because there is a lot of you know, reasoning behind why I don't believe he's the killer. I just want to know what his alibi is because, you know, I don't think that he's the killer, but then I want to know what he has to say. No one would believe that. What the public wants is when, where, and how Namatame killed these people. And Dojima-san knows it. Well, ain't you calm about this? I'm just telling you the truth. And you call yourself a cop? Huh? You want to see that stuff so bad? We'll show you! Hurry up and bring a TV here, damn it! Yo, Kaji, hey, calm stop. down! What the? Is Nanako chan's family here? Hurry inside. Please talk to her. Oh god. What the hell? What's going on? No. Nanako-chan. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Come on now, don't. Daddy. He'll be here soon. It'll be all right. Hang in there. Uh. It'll be all right. Nanako-chan. Nanako-chan. Can you hear us? Do you understand what we're saying? Are you fucking kidding me? Your big brother's here with you. Just hang in there. <laughs> oh, okay, I thought that was the... <laughs> the sound of, you know, there's no response from her. Oh, God. Where's Dojima-san? That scared the shit out of me. We're calling for him right now. Didn't you guys think that was the sound too? I thought it was. I'm glad that it wasn't. I, I got scared for a second. How's Nanako? That must have been an awkward conversation right there. Doctor. right here. It'll be all right. Your dad's coming. It'll be all right, girl. Mm -mm. Aw, that's so sweet. really sad. What? And they're just casually walking like that? Are you serious? Nanako! <clears throat> Nanako! Dude! I'm sorry, sir. No! <laughs> that is pretty sad. Damn it! Damn it! Nana John. <sighs> The feels, guys. That's hard. You know? We did everything we could, but we still couldn't figure out what caused this. Dojima-san, what's with that look? Can't do that to a kid in the game, man. Huh? What's wrong, everyone? Hmm? Huh? Wait, is, is Nanako-chan... But then, where did Dojima-san go? His room isn't that way. Wait a sec, that's the way to... Oh, shit. Nametame? He's probably gonna kill him. Killer the and hospital? the victims be in the same hospital. Loud. He's the suspect in the case. That is so stupid. What are you getting mad at me for? This is the biggest hospital, and he's in no condition to be moved. Why didn't you say anything? Where's his room? Is he still alive? Why didn't you say anything? 
He doesn't, he doesn't need to say anything. Where's his room? We need to get over there right now. I can't tell you that. Really? Just tell us where he is already. Dojima's son's on his way, ain't he? You don't know what he's gonna do there if we don't stop him! Kanji-kun, you don't mean... Yeah, hold on. Just what are you guys talking about? Cough it up! Where's this room? <laughs> Top floor in the second surgical ward. The furthest room back. But there's a police guard. I don't give a shit about no police guard. Look at Kanji. He's a badass. He's more stronger and more intimidating and more imposing than a damn police guard. And why is this song so happy and so cheerful when just that thing happened to Nanako? My guys, ridiculous. Meanwhile, Nanako's hospital room. I, I was always watching over Nana-chan, but I still couldn't save her. It happened in my world. Even though I was the only teddy in that place, I... I still couldn't do anything. I... I... It's okay, Teddy. We'll figure this out, man. We'll avenge her death. We're gonna fuck shit up. Let go of me. I need to speak to him. Oh, we are gonna fuck shit up! Like we said, without permission. Let's go. Permission? Who gave him permission to kill Nanako? Tell me that, huh? The hell with you all! Why is he still alive when Nanako's dead? Give me back Nanako! Give her back! She's... She's all I have! That's heartbreaking, man. She's... I, the only one in the world... Call a doctor! Let go of me. I need to... Holy crap! Dojima-san! Quick, get him to his room! I'll go alert the doctors! Damn, Dojima got messed up too for him to be that weak after his daughter died like that? Oh man, <laughs> we are about to fuck shit up! All the way up! Dojima-san, was he seriously gonna... His only daughter's dead. Nothing would have surprised me. I know, he has nothing to live for now. Of course he would have killed Nametame. Dojima-san probably knew that there's little to no chance Nametame would be convicted. Damn it. He killed Senpai. And now Nanako-chan. And the bastard's gonna walk away without paying for what he did. That's not right. Why? Why is he the one that gets to go on living? Was he trying to escape his room? Or did he just fall off the bed? He did fall off the bed! Or was he trying to escape to the window? <sighs> the window in the room is wide open. Oh, he was trying to jump out. What are you doing? Are you alright? Trying to escape, huh? What are you doing? I... I was scared, so... I... I... You have your life, and now you want your freedom too?! It's your fault that Nanako Jun's! I... I didn't. I... I don't know why, man. I believe this guy. 12 o'clock. Is it the Midnight Channel? Hey, isn't this... Is that him? I failed to save her. It's because you got in my way. Another Namatame? How? The real one's right here and we already beat his shadow. No. Come to think of it, Namatame never faced his other self. Wait, what? Wait. I thought only people who have, like, suppressed emotions or, like, doubt within themselves have another shadow. How does a killer 
have a shadow when he's the one who is throwing people into that world. See, this is this is why I'm like, what the fuck is going on? He, if he was the killer, then why does he have a shadow? That's what I've been trying to say for the past, what, three, four episodes since we've gotten to the Heaven Dungeon? And isn't that Nanako's dungeon? Why the hell was he in there? I don't get that. I don't get this at all. And we didn't witness his shadow returning to his body as a persona either. Perhaps that's why we're seeing this now. What the... I failed, but it wasn't my fault. And the law can't touch me anyway. What? And the law can't touch me anyway. What? But... Is that what Namatame's really thinking? I don't know. What did the other shadows have in common? What did the other shadows have in common when I faced them? The one, the one I can most vividly remember is Kanji in a bathhouse. Very flamboyant, you know. Oh yeah, welcome to the bathhouse, yeah. <laughs> Rise was kind of like a stripper, sexy. Um, when it was Chie, like very jealous of Yukiko. But that's not what they were at all. Chie loves Yukiko. Chie wants to protect Yukiko. Kanji isn't gay. He's just, he just has a lot of qualities that many would see as feminine, but he's not. He's a man, and he just happens to like things that people associate with being girly or feminine when actually, you know, stuff like he does, like sewing, that, that's not girly at all. That's nothing. That's just a person who likes to sew. It doesn't make you anything, so... And Rise, you know, she, going through her story, she, you know, didn't want to be an idol, a sexy idol anymore. She just wanted to be an ordinary girl that lives an ordinary life. And this guy is saying the law can't touch him anyway, which means that that shadow is not really what he's thinking. It's just another one of the, the shadows are like, the, the other self that he can't face. You know, I have a lot of things going through my mind right now. Let's just continue with the story, but I just, I haven't done this with you guys in the whole series, but I just wanted to tell you what's going through my mind as far as the thought process goes, because I know I, I'm pretty sure you guys are curious what I'm thinking about this whole thing, kind of just going through the motions of it, but this is what I've been thinking the whole time. Like I've been keeping very close attention to detail with this game, and uh, I just, I'm trying to figure out this whole shadow, other self thing, this TV world thing, and I think I'm finally starting to get it, but we'll see if I'm right. We'll see. Then he wasn't deranged or anything. He knew what he was doing. To hell with the law. I will never forgive what you did. This... Please, stop! Huh? Stop what? We ain't even done anything yet. Do you want us to do something? Something fitting for a bastard like you. K Kanji. <sighs> okay, Yosuke, Kanji, and Chie are very, like, very <laughs> emotionally driven right now. They're not thinking rationally. Do whatever you want. You hate me because the child died, don't you? And how the fuck is he speaking to them through the TV? What the hell? How's he speaking to them through from the inside the TV to outside the TV? I don't care either way. Living or dying makes no difference to me. But you, you're different. <laughs> you can't do such a thing. You wouldn't dare, right? <laughs> I'll continue saving people. It's my mission. Mission? My god. Please, stop. He wants us to stop. What should we do? What do you mean? We can't let this bastard do whatever he pleases. Still, what are you going to do? No way I'm gonna walk out of here doing nothing. I, I understand, but... This must be a luxury suite. Most hospital wards don't have such large televisions. 
how the hell did he get a luxury suite? I don't get that. <laughs> like, isn't he supposedly a killer? Like, how does he get a suite like this? Why, with something like this in the room, this man could escape at any time. Although once he enters, he may find there's no way out. That's true. Wait a second. You don't mean... Are you... serious? You're just gonna turn your back and walk away? See? Naoto is thinking rationally. That's... but... She's the one who's a detective, a prince detective or princess detective. So she would know what she's talking about. If she agreed that he was a killer, then maybe I would have agreed with her more. But then, playing through this game, I just have my doubts. I've been having my doubts. What's gotten into you guys? This is crazy. How can we do something like that? Oh, maybe Naoto isn't thinking that rationally. Cheer, everyone. Listen to me. If we're gonna do this, now is our only shot. We won't get a second chance. Oh my god. At this rate, the guy's gonna get off the hook, and he'll go around saving people again. You just heard what this bastard's really thinking. If that happens, it'll be just like Nanako-chan and Senpai. Who knows how many innocent people will die this time? I can't let something like that go. Someone close to me died. Her killer can't be convicted. And now I'm gonna let the same thing happen again? There's no way I can do that! It's just wrong, isn't it? But... but... Yosuke! All we have to do is push him inside the TV. That's it. We do that one thing, and this is all over. Just... push him inside? If any of you want no part in this, just leave the room. I'm not gonna force you to stay. As for me, nothing can make me forgive this bastard. But before we do this, I want to hear what you think. Fuck, are you serious? What do you want to do, leader? Push the bastard in. Can't stay here. Wait a second here. Okay. We push the guy in. We push the guy in. And then what? There's no killer. You know, this all ends. You know, everybody's still heartbroken, but I, I, I don't believe he's the killer. Like, what has he done? Why would this game have a random character? Like, listen to me for a second, just as for a game. Why would a random character in a game that you don't even know, we've never even heard of him until now, be the killer for such a, a long game like this to make a killer someone who's not even in the picture to the last act? If you will, that doesn't make any sense. I played so many games to know that a random character coming out of nowhere and then them being the final boss, the final killer, it's usually not the case. It's usually not true. Push the bastard in. He might be like a mini boss or something, like a sub boss, or he, he, he might just be like, I, I don't know what the fuck he is. I don't even know who the hell this guy is. Delivery man? Like, we don't even know what his alibi was. I can't stay here, so what, we're just gonna be a little, little fuck boy and just leave? We're just gonna leave. If they push him in, I leave. Then what? Wait a second here. Well, wait a second here. Let's see what happens if we choose wait a second here. Maybe, I mean, if I decide I want to push the bastard in, maybe I still have an option, but let's see what happens. We don't have time to wait. If we don't do this now, the cops will come back. What are you trying to say? We're missing something. Leave him for the police. This won't change anything. This won't change anything. Leave him for the police. We're missing something. Something we don't know. What don't we know? Whether he'll kill again, whether revenge is right, Namitame's true feelings, whether he can be tried. Whether he'll kill again, but he's not a killer. Whether revenge is right, that's true. I mean, revenge isn't right. Whether he can be tried. Boy, in the court? I mean, obviously his alibi is so damn tight that he can't be tried. But maybe it's so tight because it's true. But we just heard the guy's true feelings on TV! 
What didn't you understand? Yo, Yosuke, chill the fuck out. Why are you scared? Something's bothering me. Well, what is it? I already told you there's no time to waste. Are you even getting at something here, or are you just stalling? Why would I be stalling? Just say we're missing something. Missing? Like what exactly? Uh, evidence? Duh! Hey, I've heard enough of this bullshit. Give me a straight answer. Are we doing this or not? That's all I give a damn about right now. Can't do it. Calm the hell down, bitch. Yosuke's starting to piss me the fuck off. <laughs> you calm the fuck down too, Namatame. He's right. Let's all calm down for a second. I'm perfectly calm. Hey, what did you mean by we're missing something? What's there to miss with a sick bastard like him? Hey, let's all take a deep breath. After what happened to Nanako-chan and seeing Dojima-san, we're not thinking straight right now. This is starting to piss me off. Fine. Like, they're not even listening to me. Everyone took a deep breath. Did it have to go to black for them to take a deep breath? It seems that everyone has finally regained their composure. <sighs> You're right. We should calm down and think rationally about this. Thank you! God, that's all I'm asking for, man. I realize now that we've heard almost nothing from Namatame's perspective. Yeah, can we at least talk to this little pipsqueak before we kill him? There's no denying that this man brought great harm to Nanako-chan. But other than that point, the rest comes from our assumptions based on watching the Midnight Channel a moment ago. I won't deny that we were blinded by the heat of the moment, trying to impute all responsibility to him rashly. But... Yeah, the guy's not saying anything. What well, can Whatever we talk to him? the reason he had, there's no doubt about the fact that he'd been throwing people inside the TV. It was him who put Senpai through that misery. How can we possibly understand someone who says killing people is the same as saving them? Failing to understand and failing to listen are rather different things. <clears throat> Truthfully, not all the hitches that were nagging at me have been answered yet. We'll have to see what he can tell us about them. Yes, please, interview this bastard. Though it appears he's in no condition to do so at the moment. What the fuck does that mean, Naoto? Like, I'm not even True. totally sure he is or may Dealing not be the killer. Right now might not solve all the things that are bothering us. Damn it. But you better remember this. I'll do everything I can to stop him from repeating what he's done. Anytime, anywhere, anything. I feel the same way. Let's just think for now. Da 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 da. I feel the same way. Jeez, how the hell can you stay so calm, man? Man, Zikun is a G! Then again, that's why you're our leader. <sighs> Alright, let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. If we leave any unanswered questions behind, we'll just be lying to ourselves. Yeah, that ain't gonna cut it. Alright, I'm convinced. That's what I was trying to get at in the first place. Like, I'm so bad at explaining things sometimes. Well, I'm not bad, but my mind goes all over the place when I play games with such rich story like this one. And what Kanji just said basically sums up what I was trying to say. There's a lot of unanswered questions here. Like, what was this guy's alibi, first of all? And why would someone so minor be the boss or the final killer or the, like I said, the killer in this story? It just doesn't make any sense to me. Just doesn't make any sense to me. <sighs> Thank you. From what we've been playing through the whole game as going through all these dungeons, it doesn't make any sense to me that this guy is the killer. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. We all know how you feel, Yosuke. Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Right. Together. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. And thanks. Uh, it's okay, I forgive Yosuke. I mean, he was being a little dick earlier, but it's okay. The case has taken a sharp turn and the investigation team is now one step closer to the truth. It seems that you will go on with your friends to solve another mystery. 
Wait, what? So he he wasn't the killer. He wasn't the killer. I'm a fucking beast. I'm a fucking beast. That's why I am Zekun. Cause I'm that dude. Woo! Let's go, baby. Max that bitch out. Max that bitch out. God damn, I'm proud of myself. Woo! Woo! Sorry guys, I got me hyped up. Oh man. I am so proud of myself. Oh. Nanako though. The investigation team social link has reached its maximum level. You have mastered the investigation team social link. You proud to create personas the full arcane has reached its maximum. Z has forged a bond that cannot be broken. By mastering the full social link, you can now fuse Loki, the shapeshifter. <sighs> oh! I ranked up again! Yeah, baby! What the hell is this? Thou art I, I am thou, that has established a new bond. Really? With who? Namatame? Did I just get a card with Namatame? This game really does have cards for every single character in this game. You've established the Seekers of Truth social link of the Judgment Arcana. You may earn XP bonus of using personas of the Judgment Arcana. Oh, okay. It was just another social link for the team. Hey, you guys? What are you doing? You can't be in here. Oh, crap. <laughs> we were keeping an eye on the suspect. Sure we were. The police officers outside seem to have their hands full helping Dojima-san. If Namatame were to escape, it would be a disaster for the police's reputation. And their trust in you, Adachi-san. Oh, I see. We'll tighten security from now on, and I'll arrange for him to be transported out as soon as possible. So, if you guys can keep quiet about being in here, I'd really appreciate it. Man, this dude is so clumsy. He, like tells us things he shouldn't be telling us. He lets us in places we shouldn't be in. This guy's a fucking klutz. How is he, Doctor? He seemed to be extremely agitated a moment ago. He seems fine for now, but he really needs his rest. Outside, everyone. Doctor's orders. Understood. We should go, too. Let's get back to Nanako-chan's room. Oh, God. This, this whole thing, man, is just taking me for a ride. Taking us for a ride, guys. So what's this thing we're missing, huh? Evidence? To tell the truth, there's something that's bothering me, too. Why did he start killing people in the first place? Well, he said himself it was to save them, right? So he killed his lover in order to save her and kept going? The police speculated the first murder was related to the affair, so they called in Namatame for questioning. But everything in his testimony and his bearing, no matter what they looked at, they found nothing suspicious. If he truly is twisted enough to believe that murder is a means of saving people, I think that would have shown through. Maybe he faked it real well. Or maybe he started out with a normal motive and got a taste for killing after the first time. No, if that were the case, his motive for killing that announcer would be even more inexplicable. Namatame and his wife were separated at the time. Both Misuzu Hiragi and himself testified that she had discarded him. Hiragi also knew about Yamano beforehand, and Namatame was shocked to hear of Yamano's death. Their relationship was known and was not strained to the point of murder. There's simply no motive in the affair angle. The police invested a great deal of effort into investigating this point. Therefore, we have no convincing motive for Namatame to kill Mayumi Yamano, although her name was written in Namatame's own diary. His reason for killing her? It's still possible that he was crazy to begin with and no one realized, right? Uh... I don't really get any of this. Ugh, this is so confusing! Hey, we could hear you in there. This is a <laughs> hospital. Maybe you should quiet down a little. 
<laughs> They're all talking about the guy who's in there, like talking about him killing people. Oh, there you are, all of you. Please come with me immediately. Huh? What's what's going on? What are you waiting for? Hurry, go. Don't tell me Dojima-san is like in critical condition too. My heart can't take those feels. Two people in one day. Come on, baby. Don't do this to me. Oh, Teddy. Where am I? Where you at, T-Dog? Is this Teddy's world? This doesn't quite feel like it, though. I remember being at the hospital. That's right. Nana-chan. I... I couldn't do anything. Why do I even exist? I couldn't keep my promise. I lost my reason to be there. Where the hell is he? That's it. I remember now. So, it was true. Guys. Sensei. What should I do? First tell us where you are, Teddy. Then maybe we can help you out. Like, I have no idea where he was just now. But, like, he was like halfway to heaven. Oh. There they are. Nanako-chan came around. No, f no way. Are you kidding me? Huh? What did you just say? Nanako-chan's alive? Are you serious? It's very rare to be resuscitated after one's heart and lungs fail, but it does happen. But until I know why she collapsed in the first place, I can't say for sure how well she'll recover from here on. Still, Nanako-chan's a fighter, and she's trying desperately to stay alive. Damn right she's a fighter. So, so this isn't a joke? You're actually telling the truth? Nanako-chan... Oh my god! I... I... <laughs> this is amazing! It's crazy, for sure. Miracles do happen. I'm so glad. I... I didn't know what I was gonna do! <laughs> Are they gonna make me cry? Come on! Stop crying, you two! Yeah, what is he doing? You all should go home for the night. I'll speak with Dojima-san tomorrow about Nanako-chan's treatment. It's rather chilly outside. If it starts snowing, be careful not to catch a cold. Wait a second, where's Teddy? I noticed he didn't come with us when we went to Namatame's room. <laughs> You're right. That's weird. I, I figured he wouldn't move from Nanako-chan's side. Teddy, where did you go? Oh yeah, he has a cell with him. Wait, I shouldn't use mine inside the hospital. I'll try calling him up once we're outside. Dude. I... I'm speechless. Couldn't save... I couldn't save... Why? Mayumi? And that girl too? I couldn't save them. Huh? Hey, what's the matter? Feeling guilty all of a sudden? Sheesh. Couldn't save? What do you mean, couldn't save? What does that mean? I can't reach him. Did that stupid bear forget to charge the battery? We took a quick look around the hospital, but there's no sign of him. I wonder where he went. 
Oh. It's starting to snow. Oh, it's snow. Cool. I love snow. Hey, you're right. Wow, it's been a while since I last saw real snow. It doesn't look that pretty, though, because of this fog. I guess this makes it the first snow of the year. <sighs> it's freezing. Let's go home. Hey, Yosuke, if you find Teddy, don't forget to contact us, all right? I know, I know. Let's meet up at the special headquarters tomorrow. Man, that Ted. I hope he just went back home by himself. He's probably fine. But I'll hurry home just in case. Well, see you tomorrow. See ya. This has been a whole trip, man. Trip and a half. Back in Namitame's room, was it really right to stop everyone from what they were about to do? I don't know. Did I choose the right answer? For now, you have no way of knowing. You remember that your cell phone has been off this entire time since you were at the hospital. I must have chosen the right answer because my social links ranked up. There seems to be no messages. Ah, oh, loner. You should go home before you catch cold. True. I'm catching a cold. Shit. I oh, can't have Zekun catching a cold because then we're both going to be catching a cold. Welcome home, big bro. Oh, nothing. I should throw out the food, man. Might get moldy. What am I going to do? You're worried about Nanako. And what happened in Namatami's hospital room as well. Snow has begun to fall, and the fog completely envelops the town. What is going to happen? You feel exhausted. It would be best if you went to bed early today. Yeah. I wonder what would have happened if I pushed him inside the TV. This... Welcome. It's been quite some time. Yes, it has, Professor Longnose. It seems you've been summoned to the Velvet Room. Do not be alarmed. You are fast asleep in the real world. I have summoned you within your dreams. Ooh. Now then, your journey has taken you quite a distance thus far. Do you believe you'll be able to successfully solve this mystery? Well, I've been paying close attention to this game, so if I fail, then that means this game has bent me over completely FUCKED ME! But I think I'll be alright. I can solve it. Come on, I gotta be confident, baby! I'm Zeku! The precise destination of this vehicle, ah, that too is getting rather hard to judge. If we continue driving blindly, we may end up leading you further away from the mystery that you must reach. Well, why don't we take a moment to look back on your journey? Sure. It was for that purpose that I summoned you here tonight. Margaret? Oh, what's up, girl? I haven't seen you in a while. How you doing? <laughs> Voices you've heard many times before echo in your mind. experiencing the words engraved into your memory during your journey. Alright, let's go ahead and think this through as much as we need. If we leave any unanswered questions behind, we'll just be lying to ourselves. I'll think as hard as I can and try to help. Come on, we've accomplished this much together, haven't we? Right, together. And it seems you have comrades with you as well. Those heading in the same direction through this dense fog. Whoa, did we stop? It seems that the car has stopped moving. We'll be parked for the moment while I confirm our current heading. As I mentioned previously, this year will signal a great change in your life. Though there isn't much time left, 
it can be worth your while to take the time to stop and reflect. People are like water flowing in a river. There is only one stream, but all who pass through it are affected differently. Some travel fast, some change their course, experiencing countless events as they travel down the river of time. Just so. Uh, okay. That kind of hit home for me. That quote. The state of this room reflects the scenery of your heart. Perhaps this may be a time for contemplation rather than action. You can hear something in the distance. Bye! I love you! Somebody ring the doorbell? Who waking me up at this hour? It seems that you've been sleeping until now. You hear the doorbell ringing. Someone seems to be at the door. All right, all right, I'm gonna get it. Oh, what's up, bro? Teddy's missing. I looked all over the neighborhood, but I couldn't find him anywhere. Are you kidding me? Yeah, me too. He was acting all weird lately. Risa and the others are checking inside the TV to see if he's gone back to the other side. We're meeting pretty soon, so will you come with me to Juness? So first, Nanako, and now Teddy's missing? Are you kidding me? Where could Teddy have gone? In any case, you decide to go look for him. Alright, guess we gotta go look for Teddy now. <laughs>